Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on? Street Trade coming at you with uh, with this week's weekly trade recap uh, video for uh, the past week, 10th through the 14th of January 2022. So the week started off uh, pretty solid. Bulls were owning the first couple sessions, peaked out Wednesday, and then it's been fading since then into uh, wrapping up the uh, week's session. Didn't erase all the gains, but heading right back to that direction. Had a little bit of bounce in the afternoon session to close out the week. But nonetheless, uh, it was it was kind of a, a sloppy, sloppy session. Week's session overall. Whatever. You, you, you know the headlines, the blame game. Really care less about who's to blame, what who's to blame. Whatever headline is pointing to blame, right? And I, at the end of the day, it's what it all is, guys. You know, it's this is just... A, these headlines are geared to play on those emotional strings, if you allow it to. You know, it's it's entertainment. Uh, if you obviously take a step back and do your own thing, don't fall for the news because they're geared to, to push you and guide you and, you know, sway you into a particular direction. And, and uh, you know, they're quite successful at it because many people buy into it time and time again. Sell into it and buy into it. Anyway, um, the... As you can see on a technical standpoint, you know, higher lows are printing. So, you know, we're not saying anything about anything uh, heading to the downside. It just gave a lot of opportunity. Shorts that that perhaps shouldn't have faded out, uh, you know, paid, right? So market isn't, you know, necessarily doesn't always need to be on your side, but it does help. And the ones that are bleeding out when the market is going the other way, um, they're in trouble. So... You know, we'll see what next week has to has to bring. Um, obviously, that's for another video. But um, you know, you're on a technical standpoint, getting tighter and tighter that wedge. So, so something's gonna brew. Something's brewing. Something's gonna probably happen um, soon here. So, look for that move. Uh, until then, watch this hundred is probably gonna continue to to hold and bounce, and so we could probably have a little bit of a tighter chop session in the beginning of next week. But again, that's for another video. Uh, this past week, solid, solid uh, uh, place at the downside. Uh, we were short all week, and uh, it was just paid. I mean, obviously, like like we're talking about, you don't need the market to be on your side, but it does help, right? So um, let's get into some some of the trades we took. Uh, we've made put up a couple of videos already, so I can go and and uh, continue and retalk about those things. But the ones that uh, we had some good lessons off the weekly. And uh, some just key technicals that were were uh, holding, and um, some good lessons to be learned and had uh, moving forward. Look left, guys. That's we. That's the biggest nugget you could take away is look left. All right. Past has a lot to say with future action. It's not necessarily 100% going to occur because of the past. But remember, we trade probabilities. All right. If you're wrong, cut it. Take a step back, get back in, maybe half size, you know, three quarter size, whatever the case may be, until you are wrong, wrong, right? So anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into uh, the uh, the trades for the week and uh, things that obviously we didn't take, but there's good lessons to be had here. All right, all right, let's get into it, guys. <laughs> 